Why do these feel off? Wine's a good thing because your head's so small. All right, let's go. All right, come on. Let's go. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Hey everyone and welcome to Wine Down Therapy. I'm Chris. And I'm Candace. And today is our very first vlog on wine tasting. And today's first vlog is going to be on this great wine called Ignio, which is a 2016 Portugal Red. Um, it is a red blend. Yes, mm -hmm. it's a blend of three different grapes from three different regions over in Portugal. And we're going to talk about all that detail and all that stuff um, over on our podcast. So be sure you check that out. But this is, um, I'm, I'm kind of excited. I have not tasted this wine yet. Have you tasted it yet? No. No? No, no, no. So I, I haven't even tasted it yet. So this is actually going to be the first time I've tried it for both of us, the first time that we've tried it. So you'll get to see um, our first reactions of this wine. Uh, but when I saw um, its release and I saw it become available, I thought it was pretty, pretty exciting and so, certainly something that we wanted to talk about here on uh, the vlog. So... Um, let's start, if we could, with uh, the order that we normally do all of our tastings in, and let's start with taking a look at the wine. Let's let's actually use our sight, right? So we have the four S's uh, that we follow in tasting, the first S being sight. So what I want you to do is, whenever you're doing these tastings and you're, you're going to be looking at your wine, um, it's a lot easier just to see the colors um, and the texture of the wine by holding up a white sheet of paper right behind it. So if you if you have the wine in in your glass, just by holding the white sheet of paper, that's that, that's just so nothing in the background gets in the way. Um, but let, let's take a look here at the color here on the wine. Um, it's definitely obviously first thing that jumps out. It's a red, right? So you you look too. You you, you got to participate in this. There. <laughs> I so, just want to drink it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Sorry. No, you're not. I'm not. <laughs> you're, I'm really you're, not. You're not joking at all. <laughs> uh, but it but it is a dark red, um, almost like a like charcoaly red, um, if you will. So um, that's that's kind of nice. Yep. So. You can see, obviously, if you let the um, uh, you check the legs, it's definitely medium to full body. Um, and, and how you check that is you dip your glass and just let the wine run down the side of the glass. If it goes down really, really fast, it's obviously a light body. The slower that it moves down the glass, the more full body that it is. This is definitely a medium, medium to medium full. Yeah? Yep. You think so? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So this is about a three to five year keeper wine. It is, yeah. So um, they, in the traveling vineyard, when they release these wines, they give us some insights and stuff on the back end. And, and they say there, there's enough uh, tannin in this that you can, it's not going to be like a 10, 15 year keeper, but like a three to five year keeper, absolutely. Um, you can keep that. Um, so let's see, we've got our site that's done, the colors, anything you want to add to the to the, the yeah. site there? No? Mm -mm. All right. So then the next part is smelling. So um, I, I was actually swirling a little early. I, I, I like to smell before I swirl, and then I then I like to swirl and then smell and let all the, the, the stuff kind of get ignited in the, the, the wine. But So the, the first thing, let's smell, and, and I'm going to let you lead on smelling. <laughs> yeah? Mm, that smells good. And then if you swirl it, you can... You might get a little bit of a different smell. I'm definitely getting the blackberry in this. So this is supposed to have like a, it's got like an earthy spice mm. and fruit. Yeah, he mentioned the blackberries mm -hmm. in there and then the, the kind of the tobacco smell. I'm definitely getting that earthy uh, mineral smell. That, oh, that's, that smells good. I get that earthy smell a lot. So let's go on to, no, go ahead. What? No. No, I was going to say let's go on to the sip, right? Or is there something else? Am I missing something? No. So, well, with the way that we're going to sip it. So we're going to sip it first. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. And then we're going to um, take a bite that, of something that it could pair well with. 
and then we'll sip it again because it's probably going to taste really different whenever we take our bite. So some of the things that it, um, that it suggests that it pairs well with is, um, of course, your uh, smoked uh, Gouda cheese, but not everyone. That's your favorite. Well, and that is my favorite, but not everyone always wants to have cheese with right. their wine. Right. So um, it also pairs well with anything barbecue, um, also Mediterranean, or even Ooh. anything dark chocolate. So um, today we uh, we have some barbecue chicken. So we're going to do some barbecue chicken with ours today. But first, let's go ahead and let's take our first. Well, sip. and before we even sip, this is the thing that I like about traveling vineyard, and this is why. I'm so excited, enthusiastic about what we're doing with our tastings and, and offerings of our wine um, is, is what attracted me to Traveling Vineyard was the fact that when we did our, our first tasting, uh, prior to ever becoming wine guides, when we did our first tasting, um, part of the whole deal is the pairings and all the food that goes well with wine, the science behind what foods go well with wine. And when we were doing the tasting, how... You would take the sip of the wine, like we're going to do in just a moment, but then you would take a bite of the food and then another sip of the wine, and it just it almost changed the taste of the wine. Your your experience just completely changes. And and that's not necessarily unique to wines, but what I think is unique to Traveling Vineyard and how we do what we do is it's not just the the major entrees it's not just seafood and steak and all those big it's every single day items we have wines in our tasting that you uh will have popcorn in some of our tastings right i mean we have lemon cake we have simple every single day things that most normal people (laughs) eat on a normal but not everybody always has you know, a, a fillet of salmon available to, to go with their wine. Sometimes they just want some wine with, uh, you know, some sneaking chicken fingers or something simple, you know, yeah. from, from Buffalo Wild Wings, you know. I, th- I think that's neat. I yeah. think that's cool. It is. We And we had a wine that we enjoyed for a while there that paired very well with popcorn. And popcorn mm-hmm. used to be, we don't do it so much anymore, but popcorn used to be our nightly thing. We'd yeah. sit down and watch Netflix and chill. <laughs> popcorn and wine, hey. <laughs> yep. So, so anyway, that, and and so that's one of the things you're going to get with us is, is you're going to, we're not going to bring on, you're never going to see us, not that the wine won't go with large entrees and, and, you know, time consuming, um, dinners. It does. It goes very, very well with that stuff, but we also will expose all the 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 common stuff that it goes with as well you think i'm talking too much you're talking too much i'm just ready to drink this wine (laughs) all right so we're going to sip Sip then we're going to take a bite of the chicken Mm -hmm. and then we're going to um sip again yep Yep. Yep. all right so first sip let's go okay Mm. that's good very much the earthy taste yep very, very much the earthy taste. I, I actually like that quite. I actually like that quite a bit. It's got a little bit of like a spice or something. It does. Don't you think? That's I, good. I think oh, that's does. good. I like that wine. Okay, this is probably what right. was good with barbecue. It probably, yeah. Excuse the tasting noise, or the chewing noise. <laughs> That's good. See, I got a little bit more of the fruit that time. Still earthy. Yeah. Definitely a full so. taste that hangs around a little mm-hmm. bit. That's yeah. good. And I it's really more, like yeah, you got a little bit more. Not, It's not like sweet. It's not like Mm-mm. too sweet fruity. It's like just the... It's like a blackberry. It's very smooth and silky and... Mm. I don't know. That tastes. That tastes. That tastes really good. That's good. I like that. That is good. That's good. This is a good wine. What? Is Ignia, 2016 Portugal Red Blend. Uh, you can get this on um, a couple of different ways. One is you can host a tasting in your home. We come free. To, it's free. All you got to do is have us come out. We bring the wines. We bring the glasses. Uh, we bring some of the pairings. You provide some of the pairings. I mean, it's too easy, um, and it's free. We'll come out. We'll do the tasting. We can bring some of this with us, uh, possibly in, in your tasting, or 
um, to make sure, because every tasting is a little bit different, but to make sure you get this one, if you like it, you can always go to our website, windowntherapy.com, um, and search wines, and you are welcome to buy the wine from there. This is an actual, this is a pretty inexpensive wine. Yeah, it's like it's uh, only $17.99. Yeah, it's like $17.99 right now. That doesn't mean it's always going to be $17.99, but yeah, it's and, but, definitely I mean, an under $20 you wine. Go and, you go to California and go to um, a winery. It's going to be double. Mm -hmm. So this is this is what Traveling Vineyard does, too, is um, it brings um, wonderful wines, like this is from Portugal, and um, you don't have that, you don't have a huge cost. I mean, they're actually very reasonable. Oh, yeah. I'm actually excited about the podcast for this one, too, because there's there's actually a pretty good story to this one, and there's a lot of detail. So be sure you visit our podcast as well. That's going to be on Anchor, on uh, Spotify, on Apple Podcasts, on pretty much anywhere that you can get a podcast. Um, you can find our podcast there. Um, and that that's going to be a little bit longer format where I actually get to talk, um, <laughs> which is good for me. And we'll go into all the details and the story behind the wine and the region and all the different grapes that's in there. Um, and we'll go into more details like that. And also be sure you're paying attention all week on all of our different so social medias because we'll be putting out uh, different pairings for this particular wine. We'll uh, do um, a bunch of stuff. There's going to be a lot of different information that we put out all week long. So this is our wine for the week. Ignea, the 2016 Portugal Red. Thank you so much for joining us here on Wine Down Therapy. Our first installation, episode one was fun in the books and um, now be paying attention to uh, the podcast and all the other things and be sure you come back every single week right here on Mondays uh, to check out more great wines from the Traveling Vineyard and Wine Down Therapy. Again, I'm Chris. And I'm Candace.